Hello, animals. Welcome to Sorry Shamans! Reporting live from inside the volcano. Tornado. What? Tornado. It's really loud, guys. That's all that's really bothering me. The rest of it's cool. Season one, dramatic structure. This week, we're talking about the third and final area of concern. Origins. What do we mean when we say origins. It's all about events that occurred before the present day of your story. In season one, there's a pervasive origins theme. Season one's expression of this origins theme is all about an old world. The old world means your story will spend time establishing and exploring the old circumstances, the old locations, the old relationships of your characters. All of the things that happened before the new world began. There are two common ways that long form stories tend to express this old world old theme in the context of origins. The first is dealing with the old circumstances and or the old location. Here you show what the old circumstances were like, what the old location was like. In Battlestar Galactica, our main characters literally left their home planet at the show's beginning. But we get an idea of what our characters' lives were like before the Cylon attack. In Veronica Mars, we occasionally get a taste of what Veronica's life was like before she was a PI, before her friend Lily was killed, and before she herself was sexually assaulted. Back when she too was popular and hung out with the O-Niners. The second common way for long form stories to express this old world theme in the context of origins is to establish a world change. The world change is that moment when your old world fully kicks over into the new world. Your world change is important. It is, in a lot of stories, the true origin point of your tale. It's the initial moment from which the entire rest of your story grows. In The Walking Dead, it actually happened off screen while Rick was in the hospital. When the walkers took over the world, that's the world change. In Alias, it's when Sydney's fiancé is killed, and she learns the truth about SD6 and her father. Her old world of believing she's working for the real CIA is over, and she's in the new world of working as a double agent to take down SD6. That's it for Season 1's dramatic structure. We've got connection, expressed as identity, specifically new versus old identity, and character roles. We've got positive, expressed as new world, specifically new circumstances or location, and a fresh start. And we've got origins, expressed as old world, specifically old circumstances or location, and the world change. Next week, it's all about the dramatic pace. See you there, animals! What are you still doing here? Ha ha ha!